here we have 2021 Genesis GV80, the first true luxury SUV from Genesis. In fact, it's the first SUV from Genesis period and it has amazing amazing level of luxury and features and one of the coolest features that it has is a remote self-parking or automated parking it's hard to believe that this amount of technology is available these days in the car but it's going to allow me to self-park this car without putting my hands in the steering or touching the brake or accelerator it would just self-park by itself either by having me in stay in the car or i can step out of the car and using remote control uh, self-park this suv even into a very tight parking spot so it is a really crazy technology it works amazingly well so let me show you by walking you through three different possible scenarios the first one is going to be the simplest one which is to park behind one car while i stay in the car and using the remote parking uh, method the second st step is i'm going to then walk out of the car and do the exact same thing but physically stay out of the car and let the car park itself and finally i'm going to do the exact same thing as a second step except i'm going to choose a slightly tighter parking spot and see if it can still squeeze it into a space so this is uh, amazing technology hard to believe it works so well but here uh, here it goes i'm going to show you how this works okay so as i approach this car slowly it should tell me that i can park behind this uh this camera so i have to come very close to the car and drive slowly and it should tell me there's a parking spot there i'm going to pick uh, the right which is uh, which is already selected here so to park uh, to the right of this car and i have a choice of either stepping out of the car and then remotely managing the car into the spot or stay in the car so first i'm going to stay in the car by picking the smart parking which is that press and hold the parking button for smart parking so i'm going to hold this uh, parking button and then let's see what happens i hold it it said release the brake pedal so i'm going to release the brake pedal and now it's moving by itself it is pretty freaky if you can see the steering wheel is moving by itself the brake the acceleration everything is controlled by the computer i am not doing anything at all it's totally hands-free i just have to put my um, finger on the button and hold it there but otherwise it is parking absolutely on its own this is totally amazing it's almost kind of freaky and uh, but it is going to park right behind this camry by itself without really me doing anything wow look at that it parked pretty close to the car in front but it's all finished and parking completed and uh, i'm ready to step outside this is amazing now let's try doing this by actually stepping outside the car and doing the exact same thing all right so now i'm going to do the remote smart parking but now i'm going to step outside the car so let's see how that will work. So first I engage the smart parking here. Is it searching for parking space? I'm gonna try to park behind this car, which is very easy to do. So let's take a look here. So I'm gonna go behind this car again. There we go. Parking detected. I'm going to press parallel parking to the right. And then I'm going to do remote parking. So shift, I'm gonna just shift to P for remote parking. So I'm gonna push P. And he said, unfasten driver seat belt, leave the car, keep the key in the car, uh, keep the key, sorry, with me and close the door. And then press and hold the parking button on the vehicle key. So let's uh, walk outside and let's start the process. So I want to show that there's no one sitting in the driver's seat. I got the key here. I'm supposed to hold, uh, push, push and hold the parking here and it should start parking by itself. Okay, that is really freaky. It is literally parking by itself. I am outside the car here. I'm holding on to the remote and the car <laughs> is parallel parking. Now, of course, this is an easy one. I picked something simple. There's only one car in the front just to be safe. But this should work with, uh, of course, in tight parking space too. So I am totally outside the car. There is no driver here. And the steering is moving by itself. 
and parking by itself and there you go it finished it stopped and uh, everything is done there you go pretty good parking too let's take a look how good the parking is wow look at that it's perfect perfect curbside parking uh, just the right uh, just a few inches from the curb and what can i say i'm gonna have to try this in some tighter parking space but for now i'm pretty pretty impressed that this system works in uh, both my with myself in the car and also outside the car okay so now the third scenario i'm going to try to park in a much tighter spot now so i've got this spot here that's uh, between this uh, ford f350 truck and a bmw uh, x5 in the front i'm going to see if uh, this time the genesis gv80 can park between the two cars and i'm going to step outside the car again as i have done in scenario two so let's see how this car handles a slightly tighter parking space and it is still searching for the parking spot there if on the parking spot i'm going to choose this back up and i'm going to do a remote parking so i'm going to follow the instruction and push in park and it's asking me to take the seat belt off and walk outside as i have done previously but this time it's going to actually go into a very tight parking space i'm going to open the window so i can show you that i'm physically not in the car let's take a look take my key with me of course and i'm going to park using this self-parking let's see okay there's no one in the car you can see my driver's side is totally free and it's going to try to park by itself which is pretty freaky and without any help from me other than me pushing this button it's kind of scary because it's pretty pretty close and Mao is turning the steering by itself and turning again so it's you know what it's going to be able to park somewhere really really tight because it's able to park so close to the other cars and using only sensors and computerized system completely self park by itself there you go one more little bit more adjustment and there you go it finished parking it completely finished parking now and it shut the engine off and let's see how good the parking is oh look at that again perfect parking complete aligned to the curb uh, this is one impressive feature of the new genesis gv80 amazing amazing Please keep an eye on the full review I'm doing on the 2021 GV80 that's coming up as well, where I will talk about seven key aspects of the GV80 that's coming up very shortly.